actually in Israel this past season we played together and so that was our first time coming together to be on the same team. Uh, we had crossed paths throughout um, playing against each other and so it's been a blast playing with her. Um, we're pre-game shooting buddies and so and we're roommates on the road and so we've gotten to know each other and um, it's been a blast to get to know her and to have um, deep conversations about everything. I mean don't tell anyone, I'm telling everybody, but we, we stay up till like two in the morning talking about <laughs> everything on the road and so uh, to see her perform, um, that's what we see every day and she's been working her butt off and she's earned that and so I'm, I'm excited to see her continue to grow and grateful that I can continue to grow with her. Are you making her a believer? Gosh, I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm just I'm trying my best to... <laughs> I'm just trying my best to see them. If, if everyone wants to join that movement, join me. But if you don't, I'm going to do what I ought to do. Okay? Justin Bieber, come to a game. <laughs> well said, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. What, sitting, what, did, what did you feel was the difference in the late in the third quarter, early in the fourth quarter, that kind of, you guys had a big lead yeah. and kind of gave that away. What did you see? I how, think we relaxed. Uh, it's human nature. When you see um, you're up by a lot, um, you tend to just sort of relax for a second. And you might not feel it, but mm -hmm. you can see it on the scoreboard. You mm -hmm. can see it, you can sense, um, at least from my perspective, and throughout the three first quarters, like we were in great help, like we were team defense. And then in the fourth quarter, I could I could see my own self worrying about who I was guarding instead of being in help side. And so then scenes were opening up, they were getting wide open shots. Um, our minds were just, they came at us and our minds started to go a little bit and they attacked us and um, they saw weakness and so they're a good team. Um, we just, we were hitting shots in the first three quarters and then I think um, they started to open it up in the fourth and we were trying to play, it almost like felt like we were playing catch up mm -hmm. even though we were up mm -hmm. and so we were on our heels and we just got to do a better job of keeping our, our foot on the gas. Okay. How is that just continuing to score more points? How, how do you feel? What's the best way De to just defensively, keep it Defensively. Defensively. Yeah, yeah, I think staying true to our game plan and knowing that uh, no matter what the scoreboard is, it should be personal every possession. That you're playing every single possession like it, it counts because it does. You mm -hmm. can see, I mean, every team is good in this league and sure. so the moment that you relax, that's when the other team attacks. Okay. So I think just treating every possession um, like it's its own game and okay. making sure that we take care of that. That's something I notice about watching your game this season is you like to score. You like to get them up. Is is that all? Is that your nature to be a, a, a scorer, or, or do you like to be well rounded? I think I just want to make the best basketball play, okay. and so if that means that. I'm open to take advantage of that. I mean, we're, I'm surrounded by some of the best to ever play. And mm -hmm. so my job's pretty easy, <laughs> to be honest. Okay. Um, and so I just want to make sure that if it's my turn to shoot, if I got to set a really good pick, if I got to play defense, all around basketball, that's the beauty of the game is it's not just scoring points. There's mm -hmm. so many different things you can do with it. And so um, I'm grateful to be learning from these women every day and um, you know, continue to take my shot if it's my time to take the shot. Okay, congratulations. Thank you, go Sparks. Yeah.